Alright, let's see where we're up to next on our adventure with our Quantum Follow Me drone. The next thing we're going to try and do is actually bind the aircraft. So let's see what's involved in getting that done. So you're going to want to flip your unit over. There is a tiny little supplied bind plug in the, in the box. Make sure you don't lose the bind plug. In here you'll see there's a series of eight pins. Now the first six are quite springy and that's what connects to your gimbal. There's two behind here which you plug your bind plug into. Now let's flip her over. At this stage it says to turn your drone on. Alright so we've turned our drone on. We'll leave it sit there for a bit. The next thing it says to do is after a few seconds go ahead and pull that pin back out. So we'll try that. Pull the bind plug back out. Alright, next we're going to turn on the controller. This is the first time I've turned on my, my controller. And we're going to make sure we hold uh, so point press and hold the pin. Press and hold the watch power button and the descend button until watch shows ID number. So let's see if this actually works. So press and hold the so power button and descend. Bind code begin. Okay. Released it. Bind code net ID 390. and wait for the connection to finish. Okay, so nothing's happening. Oh yeah, got a heartbeat, here we go. So reading config. This is gonna take a while by the look of it. Still 0% reading config. Okay. Now I had to stop the video there because once it got through the, the binding procedure it said it was trying to read the config and it basically just froze. So nothing happened from there. So what I have done is I've just turned the controller off, uh, the quad off and just returned everything back on. So turn the watch on uh, first, I right, go reading some heartbeats, um, reading config, here we go, looks like it's connecting this time, 96%. Okay, alright, so it looks like it bound. It didn't really do very much. Um, like I said, when it did the bind procedure, it kind of got halted. I wasn't sure if it actually did what it was meant to do, but it seems to have contacted. So I guess this is the first time I'm really looking at the screen here. So the first thing you're going to notice is you've got some uh, GPS. Now the GPS over here is going to be the GPS of your quad. Uh, so at the moment we're inside uh, a little metal room that I've built um, and it's uh, nine satellites. So being inside underneath the metal roof, I'm very happy with that. Home position, it says we've already drifted, um, you know, 20 centimetres. That's neither here nor there, 30 centimetres. Uh, battery condition on the quad. We have got, um, looks like 75% in the quad. So there's definitely something going on with the battery in this thing. At the moment you'll notice there is uh, no GPS signal at the moment because we haven't bound that. That'll be the next thing. And I'm assuming this is the current time down here. Um, I don't know exactly what the time is but I'll have a look in a minute. And then down here we have the battery of the actual watch itself. So that's a bonus. We've managed to make it talk to the craft. So let's now make this talk to this. Okay, so we need to have the watch turned on. Then we're going to turn on the GPS tracker. Now we should get a series of flashing lights, bits and pieces going on, so it's turned on. The next thing you're going to need is a really, really small needle pin something. To get into this little hole here, it's, it's only about one millimetres in diameter, but it's four or five millimetres deep, so it's really going to need quite a special tool to actually get in there. So. I had a bit of a hunt around, I had something that sort of looks like it's going to do the job. So, watch is on, GPS tracker is on, so the next thing we're going to do is push and hold this. 
and we're waiting for the blue indicator to flash while it is matching. I'm not quite sure if that's flashing while it's matching. The blue indicator should keep flashing while it's matching until the X disappears on the bottom of the screen. So it looks like the X has disappeared down here and it says it's connecting to zero satellites at the moment. So it looks like it has bound, but it's not actually connecting to any satellites at the moment. So I might have to take this outside and, and see how it goes. So I didn't need to take it outside, just basically needed to wait about a minute and a half, two minutes, and we started getting some satellite information. We are inside, as I said, it, it is a metal room. I'm starting to see four satellites on the on the wrist on the wristband. We're next we're going to turn the quad on, make sure we've got some more satellites on the quad again, and that all works. Then basically, once we get a little F on the bottom of the screen, um, we are then pretty much good to put it into follow me mode. So I certainly wouldn't suggest you know, testing this inside or anything like that. Uh, the next, um, yeah, I guess the next thing is, is you know, wait for the rain to stop outside, take it down to the park, and actually throw this thing up in the air and, and see how it actually performs. So I hope this has been a little bit useful to some people. The, the manual wasn't particularly clear on how to go ahead and make this happen. You've basically watched me do it for the first time, so it seemed to have gone okay for me. It wasn't you know, particularly easy, easy, but you know, it's it seems to have it seems to have happened. So hopefully it all just works. Stay tuned.